welcome to Obsidian Core TV. Today we're opening some War of the Spark packs. Magic the Gathering English this this time. Last time we did a uh, Japanese. Had some pretty good luck. But let's just get to going on this one. So we damaged the box a bit, but it's much more fun to use a box cutter for opening cards because because we're cool. And that's what cool kids do. Not really. Knives are dangerous. Okay. So. Here we go. These are what the packs look like. Which is awesome. I go on the right side, I think. That seems... That seems healthy. Okay. So, the coolest part of all these is that there is a planeswalker in every pack. Very exciting. Alright. Wish me luck. Kind of murdered the packs there. So there's nothing in the commons. What we're after is once you get to the uncommons, that's where you start seeing planeswalkers and such. Alright. Let's figure out my stacks here real quick. That'll work. And there's our first planeswalker, Dovin Hand of Control. And our rare is Plane Wide Celebration. Alright, Arlen, Voice of the Pack, our Planeswalker, and Ignite the Beacon. Alright, Kiora, the Hemoth Beckoner. And our rare is Vivian Arcbow. And we got a foil, Tithbreaker Giant. Alright, Nahiri, Storm of Stone, and Dreadhorde Invasion, it's pretty good rare. And we got a foil of Ral's Outburst, uncommon. Alright, looks like we got a rare Planeswalker, since we didn't get one in the uncommon slot. And we got Karn the Great Creator. That's a good one. We're really after Teferi. Teferi is the best rare we can get. Um, besides that, uh, Liliana and Nicobolus are our mythics we're looking for. Right, Bond of Flourishing. Teo, the Shield Mage. Nothing special there. Ravnica at War. Oh. I think I might have grabbed one of the uncommons in the common pile. Yes, I did. Soul Diviner is our rare. Oh, flashed it a bit there. Alright. 
Bond of Passion, Bond of Insight, Ashiok, Dream Renderer, Render? Dream Render. Rending of Dreams. Commence the end game. Oh. oh, cool. I need another one of those. Prison Realm. And a Kazmina. Enigmatic Mentor. Hey, and a Tulsimir. That's a cool wolf tribal card. And Samut, Tyrant Smasher. Deliver unto evil. And the coolest foil card, Mana Geode. Another Kiora and a Mizium tank. Alright, we're through the first third of the box. There we go. Ooh, right, one too many. <laughs> Alright, so we got a rare planeswalker, here we go. Nice, Vivian, Champion of the Wilds. Not bad at all. All right, Ob Nixilis, the Hate Twisted. And a Dreadhorde Butcher. Pretty good rare. Oh, I got a little crazy there with cards. Alright. Storm the Citadel. Angrath's Rampage. We got a rare Planeswalker. Here we go. Alright. Nissa, who shakes the world. That's a really good one. Definitely pretty big in standard right now with Golgari food decks and other crazy stuff. Golgari Adventures, I, I don't know, something like that. It's just it's just all over the place. There's a Sphinx. And we got Davriel. Rogue Shadow Mage. And a widespread brutality. Not bad. Not good, but not bad. <laughs> Alright. Next up we got Bond of Discipline. Messias. Triumph. And the Wanderer. Cool. So we got a God Eternal Kefnet for a Mythic. That's our first Mythic of the box, and it's definitely one of the good ones. One of the trends with these boxes was when you got a God card, you would just keep getting God cards for the rest of your Mythics, which that would be great, because they are the more expensive ones over the finales. So let's hope for that. The Kefnet's one of the good ones, I'd say. Alright, Tibble, Rakish, Investigator. I always thought it was Investigator. 
Hey, speaking of which, God Eternal Bantu. That's our second God card, and it supports my theory that boxes are based on what the first one you get. It just seems like you get a crazy amount of them after that. That could be crazy. It's very possible. Alright, next up we got... Organization issues. <laughs> Vereska, a swarm's eminence. It's our planeswalker. And we got our second Vivian's arc bow. Alright, we're two mythics in so far, halfway through the box. Not bad. I'm hoping for like a five mythic box. That would be the dream. Alright. And Narsa. That's definitely one of the most expensive uncommons you can get, the Narsa. Parter of Veils. Even better in Japanese. The alternate art is crazy cool. Alright. So that just ruined my entire theory. Finale of Revelation. Uh, mythic in the finale set. Cycle. I got a foil Lazotep Reaper. There we go. And our second Arlen, Voice of the Pack. And a Spark Double. It's a decent rare. Alright, let's get ourselves a foil mythic Liliana. <laughs> Ooh, one not enough. Evolution Sage. Alright, got ourselves a rare planeswalker. Lots of tip plating. Sarkon, the masterless. Decent. Decent. Zone. All right. I'm just gonna say Wild Crafter for the sake of butchering that name because I cannot pronounce that. The Casualties of War. It's a pretty good rare right now. People are using it a lot with the uh, Fires of Invention deck, destroying my mono green deck on Arena. Pretty bad. Um, It happens. Alright, Johnny's Pride Mate, the reprint. Dovin the Veto. And Teo with the Shield Mage, part Dose. And enter the God Turtles. Ambush, Angras Rampage, and Jaya, the Venerated Fire Mage. Krenko, Tinged for Kingpin. Pretty cool. Alright, we're on the last third of the box. There you go. Okay, we're good. Price of Betrayal, Sahili, Sublime Artificer. Not a bad uncommon. And we got a Naheeb, Dreadhold Champion. Planeswalker, Chandra, Fire Artisan. It's 
Speaking of Chandra, Chandra's Triumph. Invade the city. Oh, I grabbed one uncommon too many because we got a Tamiyo Collector of Tales. Oh, okay. And there's our Foil Rare. Foil Rare Narcissus Reversal. That looks nice. I'm going to leave that in the rare slot there, even though it's a foil, because I mean, it's a special foil. Alright. Eternal Skylord. Lazotep Plating. Angrath, Captain of Chaos. And a roll reversal. Probably the bulkiest rare possible in the entire set. But they can't all be Liliana. Alright, Flux Channeler, and we got a Soren, Vengeful Bloodlord. Looking good there, and we got a Foil Honor of the God Pharaoh. Another Jaya. And Feather the Redeemed. It's a great card for Boros. Oh, come on, buddy. <laughs> Alright, Cyclops Electromancer. A Johnny's Pride Mate. Gleaming Overseer. And we got a rare something. Oh, even better. That's a Nicol Bolas, Dragon God. So we got our fourth Mythic here, and it's a Mythic Planeswalker, which is, uh, that's one of the better Mythics we could ask for. He, uh, he, he's ticked down in price a bit since he first came out, but it's, uh, it's pretty cool in that Inventions deck. Nice on that one. Oh. Oh, murder in this pack. <laughs> Alright. And we got a Kaya, a Bane of the Dead. And a Solar Blaze. And the last four packs. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Triumph. Firemind Vessel. A Neoform. And. Oh. Knocked him out of frame a bit, but Jace, Wielder of Mysteries. Looking good. Oh, cool. And we got a foil. Chandra's Triumph. Looking good. See if we can open the last three packs without causing a landslide of cards. Death Sprout, Death Malkin. Oh, we got Molu, Loyal Companion. And that means we got the best card we could have asked for. That's right, Tafari the Time Raveler. So that is a rare Planeswalker. It's currently going for a little over 20 bucks, which is awesome. And I was really hoping we hit one of those, and we did. So, cool beans. And we got a foil mythic. That's unexpected. Holy crap. <laughs> Alright, finale of revelation. We got both finale of revelation in standard mythic and in foil mythic. What a box. That's a thumbnail right there. Well, I think you also gotta throw a Nickel Bolas too, because that's how these mythics are rolling this game. It's crazy. Alright, let's take all those guys down there, and the last two packs. That was a god pack and a half. It's a fairy and a foil mythic. Sure. Sure. 
All right, Angrath for the second time. He's cool. Finale of Promise. Okay, so when I said about the God Box, nothing made sense. We got three finales. We got two God cards. Technically, we got Nicol Bolas. He's almost a God. So, I mean, bada bing. Three and three. Now I gotta keep in track, okay? Last pack. Here we go. I'd say this was a successful box. We ended up with, what, six Mythics? We'll count that up at the end, but it looks like we hit six Mythics. Alright, last pack to crack. Here we go. Rally of Wings. 10th District Legionnaire. And we got another Karn to end this on. That is insane. <laughs> and we got a foil. No escape. Because we're just that good. Out of bang. Alright, this was, uh, yeah, what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Mythics. 6 Mythic Box. That is glorious. Alright. Well, I hope you guys who are joining this video enjoyed the show. Catch me on my Twitch. We stream these live. And uh, I'll be opening a ton of Theros Beyond Death next week. So tune in for that. And uh, other than that, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.